Hi, today is the 24th of May 2015 and yesterday, uh, on the 23rd, on the Saturday, I went to Dot to Dot Festival. Now, this is this is a, a kind of metropolitan metropolitan festival which involves uh, getting a wristband and, um, and going round to several venues in a particular city. Uh, the city I went to was Bristol and uh, going to see live music. There's also um bigger bands that are involved in in this, this this festival as well. So we have Fat White Family and um Swim Deep. If if you're into kind of new British rock you may have heard of them and been aware of them and I, I saw both yesterday. Firstly we saw Swim Deep, the Birmingham band part of the new wave and many uh many kind of new rock bands coming from from Birmingham, part of the kind of B Town culture. Uh, that's emerging from there. So you have um, you have other bands come from Birmingham, such as uh, Peace, which are which are getting quite big at the moment in in the rock scene, and also Circle Waves, who I saw at Glastonbury, and uh, another band called Jaws as well, who, who I've uh, I've heard of. And now we went to see Swim Deep. I mean, there was a choice between uh, catching all of Fat White Family and a bit of a uh, bit of the band before that the witches or go and see swim deep and now because because uh, i've already seen uh fat white family and the witches on their their summer tour last year uh t touring several venues i went to the fleece in that case we well i decided that i wanted to go and see uh swim deep because the last time i saw them it was at a uh, glastonbury festival in 2013 and i saw i saw peace there as well uh on that day on the John Peel stage, and I thought I thought it'd be it'd be good to kind of uh, re revisit them and and see them again. So um, we did. We had to go to the uh, Bristol O2 to to see uh, to see some deep. So we got there. The first song that they're playing was uh, King City uh, from their 2013 album Where the Heaven Are We. That I, I really really liked Where the Heaven Are We. It's a it's a great album in in terms of its kind of they they've really got. A nailed in unique sound, and so I, I I wanted to, I wanted to listen to a lot of the songs from that, and they did they did perform them, and um, they've also this year released uh, a, a couple of new songs. So we have one man can change the world. It's a more kind of progressive, uh, longer, more drawn out song, and um, and a kind of more poppy and um, very kind of electronic keyboard type song called. Uh, to my brother, which which I think I think's fantastic, great song. I think to be fair, so I I definitely wanted to see um them perform to my brother, and uh, they did do that as well. But I found their live performance kind of underwhelming. I, I think I was I was expecting quite a lot from them because I really do like um their their album Where the Heaven Are We, um and I was I was I was looking forward to it a lot, but I think their live performance. It didn't kind of it didn't match up to uh, my expectations really. To be fair, I think it was quite underwhelming. But I just I just think they they didn't really have an ele electrifying performance. I mean, you would have seen uh, a kind of electrifying performance from uh, the Witches, who were uh, the band before um, Fat White Family performing in the uh, the, the Trinity. Um, I mean, yeah, as as I've said, I've seen them before, and they're kind of. Um, a more kind of grungy band. They're quite like Nirvana in a way, and they they've certainly got um definitely got heavy riffs and they they got long hair as well, so they start rocking out and stuff like that. And Fat White Family as well. They they also have an electrifying performance, but Swim Deeps it it just it did it wasn't it wasn't as um as good as I, as I thought it would be. But maybe that's just the nature of the music that they're playing. Maybe it's it doesn't translate as well into a live performance. I'm still glad I saw Swim Deep and and part of part of seeing live music, seeing people you've already listened to, is the the whole nature of basically having the privilege of actually seeing a person and I uh seeing seeing these people and that in some ways the attraction of actually of actually going to these live events. But um I don't know, I mean I felt I felt quite underwhelmed with some of these performance and yeah I guess that I guess what what I took from it was uh the privilege of, of actually seeing them in the flesh rather than them having a particularly memorable performance um that the other bands seem to nail so so much like uh, Fat White Family. We we did go to the Trinity 
after um, after we've been at, at the O2 to see some deep, um, and we didn't we didn't catch uh, the witches at all. We did manage to see a bit of Fat White Family. They played their uh, their kind of their lead song, uh, "Touch the Lever." There was a, there was a lot of people in the room, and I've I've seen I've seen bear gigs on them. So I've seen them. Uh, I saw them last year, two thousand and fourteen, at Glastonbury Festival, and um, I also saw them in this this uh, joint tour they did, uh, the Witches and and Growlers as well, which is an American band. They were they going to several venues across the UK. So they they went to Liverpool, and um, and yeah, the, the gig I saw of them was at uh, Bristol. So it it wasn't it, I wasn't as kind of as focused on on the performance this time because I've already I've already seen them a, few, a couple of times before. Uh, but they they always do bring a, a kind of incredible uh, energy to their performances, which which I which especially came through from the times I've previously seen them. They they played the John Peel stage uh, at Glastonbury as well. The frontman has a habit of taking his top off, and and many people would uh, kind of. Well, it, his 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 performance is is pretty amazing. It's it's full of it's full of passion. That's that's the main thing, really. So he takes his top off, and he looks he looks quite haggard. Um, the band themselves uh, are were formed from a London squat, uh, so they they've they've clearly been through a lot. And I think I think uh, their frontman called Lias, he he tries to encapsulate the the kind of angst and the anger and um the the kind of the the, sh the sheer shit they've been through in the performance and I definitely think um they've got that nailed and they come with a very very distinctive look as well I mean it's a kind of quite grubby grungy dirty look so kind of worn out baggy clothing and that sort of thing and to round things off I think there's there's obviously an attraction at sea gigs and to actually have the privilege of um of watching the artists who you've been listening to to actually perform i think uh that's that's something to be appreciated but to be honest with you if i'm at a live gig i want to kind of be in a moment i want to be captivated by that i want to be feeling the music and and uh having a kind of a genuine response to the music and a kind of feeling for it and i think fat white family definitely do put a lot into actually making a moment with their performance while Swim Deep kind of they, they didn't quite make the mark in that regard really so yeah thank you very much for watching and for more check out From the Front Row gigs, events and festival reviews